Well, 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 the biggest missile has been bombarded on us by CSIR NTA yesterday night and I'm sure you all are aware that the notification is out but many of us will miss on very important minute changes which the notification has done this time and that's something which you must go through. So here is a small video on what are the important changes which CSIR NTA has done in the December notification which were not in the June notification and the previous notification. So some important and minute changes are there. Obviously we will overlook uh, through the naked eye. So what we are doing going to do is I'm going to use this software which is in front of you right now. So here if you can see this is the uh, comparison of the two PDFs. The left hand side is the De December 2022 and June 2023 PDF. This blue one which is on the right hand side, this is the December 2023 PDF. So let's look at what are the changes. Now obviously uh, uh, small changes will always be there like capitalization of the letters. That's something which we are not looking at. But what are the major changes we will look at. Okay. So uh, first things first, if we see uh, small spelling changes and all that's nothing which concerns us. But the biggest one which uh, we observed, of course, the dates will always be there. Dates will change. That's not a uh, big change. But the biggest uh, change which we saw is here, uh, which you can see the website earlier was CSIR net.nta.nic.in. This time it is nta.ac.in. So that's one change i would say big change because we all were caught unaware we were looking on the we were sitting on the wrong platform while the train came on the other platform right we were looking at the nic.in website thinking when the notification will come but hey the train came on the other platform other website which is csirnet.ac.in right so now when we know okay this is the change of course now it does not concern us but then uh, b before the notification came we were on all on the wrong uh, website but now uh, if we uh, look at uh, some of the major changes which I was hunting for all of you and I found out uh, one of the obvious uh, major change which of course concerns you is earlier the fellowship was uh, different and now it is different. So uh, now if you see this is 31,000 earlier here it is 37,000 per month. So that is one big change which is there. The second big change which we see here is the uh, fellowship, the contingency grant which you, you used to get, it was via the university, not directly. Now it is that also is directly to the fellow. So you will be getting the 20,000 contingency grant directly into your account, not via the institute where you are enrolled for PhD. So that's one major change, of course, monetary change, which we were expecting over, obviously. So number one was the website change. Num number two is the fellowship change. Now, if we quickly go on and on and keep looking now these are smaller changes which may not concern us but um, I saw a major change somewhere here and uh, that says that uh, let me just pull that out for you now here is a change which, which this is a new clause which they have added which is not there in the previous one if you see so in the event of ineligibility being detected by CSIR UGC NTA at any stage matlab all the three agency any of them whoever detects the discrepancy or ineligibility uh, their your candidature will be cancelled and you shall be liable to legal action so earlier this clause was not there so now uh, if you are applying and you are um, you know giving wrong uh, if you are not eligible and you have uh, falsified this information you can be you know liable for legal action so this is one major change which was not there earlier in any of the of course they would have done, done it but now that it is on the paper it is definitely uh, possible so please be careful if you are not eligible you should not try to claim the JR especially the JRF or the LS okay next uh, what we saw is another major uh, change which is uh, here in front of you um, which says that the category change is not allowed so candidate cannot change the category or sub category after the submission of the online application form so you cannot change the category or sub category afterwards so this is again a major change for those candidates for who are in the pwd category or any such categories now uh, let's look at some more uh, important and interesting changes which might be there so if you can see there is an important change here also which was not there last time in fact it is understood but yeah they have now put it on paper and they have mentioned that if you are applying for the ls which is the lecturership or assistant professor category only then you will not be given the JRF even if the marks is higher than JRF. So I believe they should now give 
given last time they had given so they should give three categories uh, only jrf only if you are applying for jrf or you are applying for both jrf and ls and another should be only ls so they are saying that if you are applying only for ls you even if your marks is higher than jrf you cannot get that so earlier it was kind of understood but now that is on paper this is a very interesting and important change which uh, they have done for you now uh, so the category change also i have discussed now another thing which uh, i have uh, noticed here which probably uh, i should pull out is the rti thing and we observed that somewhere uh, here let me just pull that out for you yes so this is a new clause which is added which says that the information which is uploaded on the website shall not be provided to the candidate or any other person under rti 2005 now basically what people were doing is they were uh, not downloading their certificates or admit cards or whatever marks sheet in time and like after five years or seven years they start asking please give me so they have clearly mentioned that see you have to it's your responsibility to download the uploaded information which is pertaining to you in time if you are not downloading and after five years or seven years if you come and say hey i want this even if you apply for via rti you will not get that so that is another imp important change which uh, we are observing now apart from that the contact information and everything has changed one major thing which obviously does not uh, concern us but yeah definitely we can see that these uh, elaboration of the essential qualification was there in the last time but this time it is not there it had matters because we all know the eligibility which is also mentioned in the top part of this notification so here we are these are the important changes which we are looking at in our uh, notification uh, the biggest one obviously the website change then we have the uh, fellowship hike which is now given over there that 37,000 plus HRA is 30 percent HRA which uh, comes around I think 42,000 which is a good number then they have also mentioned that if you are only applying for LS you will not get the JRF then there is um, a legal action clause that legal action can be taken if you are non-eligible and if you are applying and if you are detected later on then there is a category change that no category change will be entertained later on and of course the last one is you cannot you have to download immediately or whenever the uh, uploaded information is available like your scorecard in the future because after seven years or ten years if you come and say hey i want to download they will not allow that so these were the important changes in our notification for csir net december 2023 but this means that you have to prepare and you have less than 55 days and that is why Biotechnica is launching a CSIR net bullet batch which is starting from coming Monday. You can join us and you can start your preparation with Biotechnica and at an affordable cost and you can prepare in the next 50 days with 150 topics which, will, which is guaranteed will be covered and we will help you qualify CSIR net. In this we are including the test series, the conceptica revision tools and of course the live classes every day in the evening. So these are all the details all the link is given in the description if you have any questions comments or anything you would like to know or understand please comment below or write to me at shaker at biotechnica.org thank you so much see you soon in the next one till then keep shining bye bye